Today we'll take a quick look at and a complete setup of the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B from Adafruit. We're going to set this up with a dual boot system today, uh, two operating systems right from start to finish. This is the, the Pi 2 Model B that I got from Adafruit. Simply love this thing. Huge thanks to Adafruit for getting this for me and uh, link to it in the description below guys. Uh, support Adafruit whenever you can. Pretty powerful little board. Four USBs on board. Significantly better than my old one in the background there. I won't go over all the specs on this because you can look them up yourself. 3D printed a small case for it, found on Thingiverse, I'll link that below as well. Works pretty good so far, let's give it a try. So to start, I like using the Noobs software. You're going to download this one, uh, the complete package, which is the offline and network version. Download that zip file. While you're downloading this, you might as well download the PuTTY program, because we're going to need that later. Once it's downloaded, we're going to extract the files. This is all of the files that we need. If you open the README, you can uh, go step by step through it. We're going to need the SD card formatter tool, which works really good for any SD cards. Go ahead and use this. Select your drive, size on, and format the card. We won't do this live because it'll take a long time here. We're going to take all the files and we're going to go ahead and copy those over to the SD card. This will also take a while so I'll skip through this. Once that's done, we're going to take the SD card, put it in the Raspberry Pi and hook it up. Here we are with the noobs interface. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the Raspbian image. We're also going to select, in this case, the OpenELEC Pi 2 version. I want the Kodi uh, Xbox Media Center as well, in case we want to use this for a uh, media center as well. Once that's selected, just go ahead and click Install. Click Yes. And there you go. This takes some time, so we'll go ahead and skip through this here. There we go. 2532 megabytes and we're done. This is where you select your OS to boot into. We're going to pick Raspbian right now, but in the future it'll auto boot into the last used OS or you can select it as long as you select it in the first few seconds. In here you change any parameters that, such as your password or uh, any other items you like to change. Once done, we're going to go ahead and log in with Pi, username Raspberry, all lowercase, unless you've changed it. And we're going to type start x. We're going to boot into the GUI of Raspbian. Once that's all booted up, you can use the uh, operating system, go into uh, the, the Pi store, uh, work with the terminal here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up a VNC connection in the next video so we don't need to work with this console anymore on a standalone monitor.